Hi, I'm Sean Stenhouse with Domico Software, and I'm going to show you how to get your Ingenico Wi-Fi terminal connected to your Wi-Fi network so that you can use it with Domico Pay payment processing. To get started, let's take a look at our Ingenico device here. At the top on the right, you're going to notice a little power button. You're going to hold that down until you hear it chirp, and then you'll notice this blue screen with a little smiley face. It's going to go through a few more loading screens while it turns on. We are looking for a copyright information page, and we're going to enter the secret code 2634 and then press the green button. Here's the status page. At the top, we're going to see a bar that comes up that says retail base, and then the copyright screen I was talking about. So we just got our banner, and we need to wait for the, copyright, the information to actually show. 2634 green. Now we're going to press F to actually enter the menu. And this first part, we are going to be turning on the Wi Fi. This is the, menu, the menu setting we want is TDA option 3, so I can press the number 3. Configuration 0, communication 0, and Wi Fi settings 3, power 0. 1 for on. Now after you turn it on, you can press the green button to make sure, and then press the red button a couple times until you get to the option save and reboot. We're going to press yes to save and reboot, and that is it. The Wi-Fi is now turned on. After it reboots, we are going to come back and we are going to configure the Wi-Fi network. Okay. Now that my device has rebooted and I went through the same process of waiting for the copyright page and pressing in 2634 and then the green button, and now I'm ready to press F4 menu. Now this round we are going to be actually entering in the Wi-Fi settings. We're going to use the Telium Managers option 0, and then Initialization option 3, Hardware, option 2. Option 5 for Wi-Fi is hidden at the bottom. You can scroll up and down with F2 and F3 and look for Wi-Fi, option 5, or you can just press the number 5. And then uh, press number 2 to scan for the networks. If your network SSID is hidden, you will need to enter it in manually, and I will go over that configuration in another video. So now that we're done scanning, I can press F2 and F3 to scroll around and look for my Wi-Fi network. And when I find it, I'll press the green button to connect. I'm going to want the option on top for home security, not enterprise security. And I'll enter in the Wi-Fi password. You can use F2 and F3 to go up and down, F1 and F4 to go left and right. You have the ABC and the symbols options over here. Use the green button to select. When you're done, you'll make sure to go back over and select the green zero before hitting the green button down here that you're done. Alternatively, if you're familiar with the old school cell phones and text messaging, you can just type the keys for the corresponding letters. Uh, so as letter D would be the number 3 twice, O is the number 6 four times. You'll see the letters come up there. If, uh, if you're familiar with the cell phones, you should know how to uh, do this. I'm going to go ahead and finish typing in my password. Oops. It seems I'm a little rusty on typing this way. I used to be so fast. Okay, I have my password typed in, and do remember, even if you use that method, always make sure you have that green zero selected with the function keys before you press green that you're finished. Now we'll need to enter in our priority. We're going to put in priority 20, because that is just the setting that we put in, and we'll press the green button when we're done. It says new profile OK, and we're back to the configuration menu. I'm going to press the red X a few more times until I get back to the status page. And as long as it's connected, you will see the network name up there at the top. We are now connected.
All right, now that our Wi-Fi is powered on, the settings are all configured correct for the Wi-Fi network, we have one final setting on the terminal. We need to set the point of sale COM type. Let's press F to go back into the menu, and we're going to go to option 3 for TDA, just like the first time. Zero again for configuration. Zero for communication. And zero for select COM type. Now we want option 1 for Ethernet. Press 1. I like to press green to confirm. And then I'll press the red button a few more times to back out until I get to this familiar save and reboot screen. We can press 1 to save and reboot our final time. Right now, if you are activating your terminal yourself, the terminal will reboot and come up with an activation code that you can input into the merchant track page to activate your terminal. Uh, if you're having Indomico Tech activate it for you, do know that the activation code will change, so you're going to want to just power off your device after getting the activation code to make sure it's there. Uh, you'll power off your device and then just let it sit. When the Domico Tech gives you a call to install, you'll turn the device back on and you won't press any special menu settings, so just let it go through its process and it will come back up to the activation code. You'll read that to your Domico Tech and they will be able to get you activated, installed, and ready to go. If you have any questions at all, please give us a call or send us an email. Thank you very much for watching.